Hi guys, what's going on? This is just the site from Tech Explorers, and in this video, we'll be going to review the 2014 flagship of from HTC, that's the HTC One M8. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get right into it. You guys might be thinking that why are we not reviewing the HTC One M9? Because HTC has not even launched the HTC One M9. Instead of that, they have launched the HTC One M9 Plus. Because I don't know, it's the marketing hype, or consumers want HTC One M9 Plus. Us preceding the HTC One M9, so it's comp it's the HTC's demand and the consumer's demand. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So uh, starting with the physical overview of this device, on the top we have the IR blaster. One second, guys, I have to remove this case from my phone. And for you guys, might be thinking that why I have why I have put the case on such a beautiful phone because us it's it's made up of metal and you guys may drop it very easily so please put a case on it and on the top we have the IR blaster the black bar you are seeing that is the IR blaster on the right hand side of the phone we have the uh, memory card slot and it's expandable up to 128 gigs and on the and below that we have the volume rocker uh, the volume rocker is pretty tactile and the power button too below on um, bottom of the device we have 3.5 mm headphone ja headphone jack and and uh, towards the left of it we have the 2.0 usb 2.0 uh, charging cable for data syncing and charging for and charging this device on the left of the device we have the sim removal tool and for those guys who don't know which type of sim it supports it supports it uh, so for you guys hcd one m8 supports nano sim so i guess you guys might should know that so on the top we have the uh, on the top we have the f uh, 5 megapixel front camera which is quite good for taking selfies and and on towards the left of it we have the bunch of sensors and HTC has not skimmed on sensors at all they have included all the necessary sensors which are needed by the user like gyroscope proximity sensor and ga motions even there are certain sensors which are you are amazed of like what the heck man HTC has included the motion gestures which are not usable in certain situations like for example on it uh, as you can see the power button at the top of the device so many of the users who are with small hands are unable to use this device so for that HTC has included motion launch gestures so that it will help you just to double tap on the screen and it will wake up so uh, many of you guys uh, will be wondering that we can also do this by keeping it on the table no because at ah uh, because this is the sensor which is basically deals with motion you have to pick up the phone and then double tap on it to wake it up and on the same and and on the same side we have if we pull up the and if we pull up the finger you can see it basically unlocks the device where we left and if we uh, pull from the left towards right as you can see the blink feed opens and if we and if we pull left to right as you can see the widgets open or the or the screen which you have recently left or left it out so on the back of the device we have the uh, four ultra pixel and camera and the two ultra pixel camera with dual led flash you guys might be wondering that what what are the features do these Two cameras perform basically the main camera is a uh, four ultra pixel camera it is the main camera and the second ultra uh, two ultra pixel camera assist this camera for making for taking out the depth of field of images and for, for making the photos look great and doing good and great book effects which is a wow factor for HTC and it, to its consumers because many of the girls who are using nowadays their phone their cell phones is to take selfies and to edit them with a hell lot of crazy with a hell lot of crazy stuff so HTC might not disappoint you on that side and below that we have the HTC branding and you guys might not be knowing that what are these white lines that many of you guys have seen in metal phones these are called the antenna bands and basically what it does it provides a signal to to your phone to your device and uh, sy synchronizes with the Wi-Fi router so that it can capture better better signals even uh, even that you are sitting in the room where the Wi-Fi coverage is too low so I so guys I guess that's enough for the physical overview and now starting with the UI of this device as you can see it's uh, it basically runs on since UI 6.0 and with Android 5.0.1 now just for the verification let me show you now as you can see it is running 5.0.1 and 6.0 HTC Sense version so we'll get out of this 
and talking about the most promising feature of this device is like sense home wow i guess htc has proved many of the users wrong and many of the companies wrong that they can they cannot skimp on features for example this is a sense home widget and basically what it does it adapts to you and if you are out it will suggest you the apps which is which you might be using when you are out for example like i am now in my office and as you can see uh, my phone is suggesting me the apps based on your locations and as i'm out and basically what i need when i am in the office what apps do i need when i am in the office for example gallery themes screen master darker flashlight etc these are the some apps that my phone is suggesting me to use while i'm out on work and and when i'm home i usually check my mails instagram and do instagram whatsapp facebook watch a little bit videos on youtube and ask.fm snapchat and on the on the left side or on the right side of the device you can see there are downloads and suggestion folders included too so basically it uh, hcc sense home also senses that what app should you use and which might be better for you or might be great work for you so as you can see there are a lot of around 6 or 7 apps that are listed by the hcc so that you can use it and so you can get the better most out of the hcc 1 m8 and now talking about the app drawer the app drawer is vertical scrolling app drawer and as you can see a lot of apps are installed so that i have because i have been using this device from so long and i know in and out of it so moving towards the left of this device many of you guys don't know what, what is blink feed and blink feed basically does all the social networking in uh, things all the world on the other hand i should say the world news into one window as you can see it basically suggests you the apps and and you may you may correct or subscribe to those channels from where you need your news to come from and as you can see i have selected technology and as you can see uh, the technology news is coming right into it without any without any missing or skippings so that's a good feature and you can also disable it by uh, by doing this and as you can see i've set this as home if you set this uh, the main home screen that sends home widget as your home on the blink feed will be gone so guys many of you um, many of your users are confused about the widgets and widgets can be added by the uh, by the squeezing of the screen like this and as you can see the hcc has provided a lot of bunch of widgets and uh, related to your apps and suggestions which hcc sends home provides you so guys without any further ado many uh, let's get into the gaming of this device and because gaming is a huge a huge fun factor for all of you guys out there who thinks that gaming is a must factor for android phones and many of the users just buy just buy their cell phones because of their gaming issues so guys this might give you an idea how this how gaming handles how it how this device htc 1 m8 handles high graphic intensive games like modern combat 5 etc so guys without any further ado let's get right into it and it's loading so it may take a while so be patient as you can see i'm not having network connection so wait a second let me connect and let me connect to my wifi wifi network and there it is i've connected to my wifi network and let me close it first and now let me restart So guys by the time this game loads up I would really have a keen pleasure to give you an idea about this gaming performance of this device I have also played some several other games like uh, Subway Surfers and many and many low end games as well as high end games and this and this phone flies above it and if you are a gamer you will really love it especially because of the, because of these top and bottom boom sound speakers which really give an immersing effect while playing and while listening to music So guys, let's get right into the game. As you can see, we are loading it up, and just a second, guys. By the time it loads up, be patient.
as you can see guys we have loaded up and we are starting with the game so in first room we have to destroy the destroy our enemies and we are trying our best oops i guess i got failed so let's try once again oops i guess i failed once again so guys let's get out of this game and just to tell you that it's a matter of fact that it basically my phone that skims sometimes but it doesn't matter because us there are some games in play store that are so laggy in, cer in certain bits or cramps that each and every high end phone lags a bit so guys that's an issue you ha you don't have to be worry about also when it comes to customization htc has pro also provided the theme engine which basically changes the each and every look of of your device from notification panel light to your buttons itself because th the reason i'm not having the sense 7 is is when HTC will provide it, it will definitely work in a better manner. And you can the most amazing thing that HTC has done that all the themes which are available in the theme engine are for free. So you don't you guys don't have don't have to pay a certain amount to get those themes, awesome themes. Many uh, so I have also downloaded many of the themes from the themes engine. As you can see, there are a lot of themes. So when you will apply it as you can see there are a lot of each and every customization that even icons can customize buttons can customize and even the notifi notification light can customize so guys as my network connection is too slow i would really tell you to please bear with me for my network connection and be patient while by the time it loads up So guys, I guess it's taking time, but uh, I I'm, I really apologize for that. And just want to let you guys know that you can apply this theme and you can change the overlook of this of each and every part of your device. So this might help you with the great customization as well. And uh, many of the users are uh, talking about as this guy is running HTC Sense version with Lollipop update. Uh, there are a lot of things which are included, which are in Lollipop. For example, this not uh, notification this multitasking tray like android lollipop style and on the other hand this awesome notification panel which basically gives you 12 by 12 ratio of each and every icon and basically and previously it gives by 11 by 11 and now after the lollipop update it basically gives you 12 by 12 so you can customize your notification panel according to your personal preferences and furthermore if you guys like and the HTC also care, uh, HTC also cares about the fitness of you of yours so it also includes the fitbit uh, fitbit app for your daily tracking and fitness activities uh, as you can see that i have taken i have walked 1338 steps today which is quite good and it also remind me to stand up when i'm when my phone detects i'm sitting idle so that's uh, that's it for the fitbit app and now talking about the power to give and I'm, I'm skipping this topic a little bit more because guys many of you because nowadays a world has become so sca so scarcity of resources there there are so there are many scarcity of resources that many of you guys may be wondering what HTC is doing for it and as you can see there are lot there uh, they have included the app that is called power to give basically what it does it donates some of your power to the organization which really needs it and you just have to do nothing just plug your charger when it's 90 percent above the your phone with uh, your m8 will automatically see automatically start syncing your power with the wi-fi and starts donating it and starts don donating it into an ngo for example this is the einstein at home i'm i'm really clean to i'm i'm pressurable to donate my power to this ngo so that it basically works for a uh, betterment of the society and environment in us so guys that's it for this review of this HTC One M8. I hope you guys may like this review. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because you are the one who who can appreciate who can appreciate us for our work. Thank you guys for watching. This is Yash, and I hope to see you in my next video. But please donate your power to HTC Power to Give because you don't need it. We don't need it. Our our future needs it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.